Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching or tuning in from. Well, it's Hope Swithin and this is Grace Impact Radio, that radio station that brings you God's word, great music, and the right entertainment. Well, this is it, and it's run seven days a week, 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And you need to always stay here to stay lifted, okay? So, right here in the studio, I have an amazing guest. Well, he happened to double for my dad, yeah, and also an amazing guest that you know or may not have met. Well, I'm, I can guarantee you're going to have real fun today, you know, right here in the studio. And i like him to say hello to you. And uh, so his name is, well, we fondly call him Bishop, right? <laughs> he doesn't like titles, and I know. <laughs> so Bishop Gosfield Upman is right here in the studio. <laughs> Daddy, please say hello to us. Hello, listeners and viewers. God's blessings, yes. That, that's enough, because I can't say morning, noon, and night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So awesome. It's so good to have you right here in the studio. Thank you very much. Have you been, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I mean, I mean, we're 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 not struggling. We're we're not even survivors, you know. Yeah. We come through Jordan and Dragon. Glory yes, to God. Yes, we're the more than conquerors, we're the victors. Yes, our faith. Overcomes. Hallelujah. That's Our it. faith overcomes. Amazing one. Well, you just don't worry. You just be coming down. You're going to have uh, fun today. <laughs> I'm telling the listeners. <laughs> okay, so Daddy, you have been married for how long? Uh, I'll be 34 on the 22nd of December this year. Glory to uh, God. That, that, that's not a long time anyway. It is a long time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some persons get married and one week after the wedding, they are done with that marriage. Mm. Some persons get married a month, they are done with it. So yeah. having someone do 34 and years. Some even get divorced, like I read, after 50 years. Exactly. Yeah. After 50 years. 50. I even heard 70. Absolutely. Recently, I heard 70, yeah. you know, divorce and all that. So having 34 years in marriage, I mean, happily married. This is not making up. He's my dad. He's been my dad for over 20 years. Over maybe 20 something years Hello. now. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. About twenty-two yeah. years, he's been my dad. So, so, seeing, so I'm, I can tell you that he's happily married. It's not a uniform thing, you know. People just have uniforms. Couples, some persons can have <laughs> uniforms, and they are not united. They are not one. I can tell you the truth. So, so this is real, right? So, it's really good to have you right here in the studio, Thank Daddy. Thank you very much. Certainly, I can't remember the last time I wore a uniform with my wife. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> Daddy doesn't even do uniforms. We have the same clothing, but we are different times. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, that's, that's not to be right those way. No, uniforms, not, at you know. all, not, at okay. all, not, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. I mean, if you if you do uniforms, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. That's, uniforms that's are good on the outside, mm. but better on the inside. Glory to God! Did you hear that? Uniforms are good on the outside, but better on the inside. So, if you're a couple listening, that's a word of wisdom. <laughs> right there. Well, Daddy, tell us. Um, for thirty-four years, yes. you have seen marriage, understood marriage, and everything. I would say. I know. I know. We keep learning every day, right? Yeah. 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 Like but I'm still learning. You know? I know you're still learning. But I like you from experience to tell us what do you think marriage really is. Well, usually I say that uh, marriage is God's idea. It wasn't. Uh, Adam's desire to have a wife. It's God that told him hmm. that it wasn't good to be alone. Hmm. So from the outset, it was God's idea. And the creation of his wife was in his own making also. It was God's making. Hmm. And uh, interestingly, he extracted the wife from him. Hmm. So uh, the end of the whole marriage was one man. Yeah, because that was a component of Adam that produced his wife. Oh, so God. basically was one person was yes, one person yes and so um that's one concept that has helped me and us through the marriage it's called one flesh concept mm. yeah the concept that is only one person that stays in that that lives in that marriage mm. with with different expressions mm. yeah so if, if if your spouse is loud and you're the quiet type for instance i'm the quiet type my wife's the loud type <laughs> No, that's not true. <laughs> really? Well, everybody keeps contesting that. I don't know what I've done. I will keep contesting that because that is the loud type. 
Yes. Our mom is a quiet one. Yes. Our mom's quietness is also suspicious. Suspicious, yes. <laughs> we suspect the quietness, yes. So, yeah, it is the idea that the the spouse is the variant of the other. Hmm. So, if I'm loud, I'm the loud version of my quiet wife. Wow. Yeah, so I wouldn't need to take offense on my wife that she's quiet. No. No, no, no. I don't need to do that, you know. That's me. That that, that that's the other me. Ooh, I'm loving yeah, this. Yeah. That that's the other me. So it has helped me, you know. And then the Bible will tell you that uh, no man would hate himself. Scripture is correct. Mm. I can't start hating me, you know. You know, my wife is me. Mm. That's my body. Yeah. Ooh. So if I start beating my wife, uh, that's a sign of insanity of sorts. Yeah. That's correct. I'm beating myself. Yes. The one flesh concept have been very critical for me that is yeah looking at my spouse as me mm. yeah from a different perspective from a different perspective did you get that amazing one flesh perspective one flesh uh, you know if, if we can understand this hmm, i'm sure we'll have we we'll really enjoy peace you know you know god 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 was intentional mm. you know he knew what he was doing he didn't want to go and bring another substance to make a wife he had to take it from the man himself. From the man himself and move something else for him. Out of him. Out of yeah. him. Yes. So that's him. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. Another expression him. of him. him. Yes. Another expression of him. Yes. So, 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 Daddy, we know that um, wedding is beautiful, right? Yeah. The marriage is beautiful and all that. Now, inside the marriage, mm. there are things that pose as challenges, that can yeah. come up as challenges, you know. So tell us, what, what should be the right posture, the, the heart posture? Yeah. for both of them in dealing with challenges that hit families families okay yeah. fine now for the christian particularly you know yeah. i mean uh, those that don't have the spirit that's okay yes. god will show mercy, mercy yeah. yeah even the christian you know god shows mercy True. but um i usually uh posit that the only counsel a christian would need in his marriage is to live the life in the spirit because scripture tells you against such there's no law mm. you know so when you look at the fruit of the spirit sometimes yeah. we think that uh our, our spouses are not qualified to be beneficiaries so i'm a good man in church you know i'm a good man among the brethren mm. and then when i get home my my wife is not qualified to be a beneficiary of that whereas is the first part of call exactly my wife my children my immediate family, family. should be the immediate and direct first beneficiaries of the fruits of the spirit right, right. now this is what the challenges in life come to attack mm. the manifestation the, the expression of the fruit of the spirit the for spirit. instance if i say i have love mm -hmm. i need to i should be dealing with someone that's unlovable mm. if i say i'm a patient man i yeah. need to deal with someone who is um irritating yeah, yeah? uh i need to suffer long with someone who uh repeatedly does the same thing that irritates me you know gets me offended yeah so long suffering is i make room in my heart you know for uh that person my wife you know because it could as well have been me i mean reverse of roles so right. i see it that um the challenges of life come to attack the expression of the fruit of the spring in the in the, in the christian home in the christian home that is it and so it is the inability to uh accommodate you know these things that we usually refer to as a uh, irreconcilable differences mm. uh, and it's a language that i don't think exists in my dictionary i totally agree no, it doesn't agree I yeah. totally there's agree. no difference that is irreconcilable i don't believe that the differences are irreconcilable especially in the marriage when the concept is right i agree with you now um I, I like to be practical, practical on my yeah. shows, right? I knew, I knew. <laughs> I knew, but I just wanted to be I, I know, so No, 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 no. I, I totally agree with everything yeah, you're saying. Yeah. So I'm saying the next thing I want to ask, yeah. I, I like to be, I, I want to be more practical yeah. with it, you yes. know. People can get married, right, yeah. with amazing desires yeah, to have yes. children. Yes, okay. To settle in and settle. have children. Yes. Now, when it lingers, yeah. for instance, childbirth Breath, yes. lingers, yes. what should happen what do you advise such couples to do because sometimes they can they can wait you know in love yeah for two years yes wait in love for three years yes if it lingers 10 yes. 20 yes. what do you say because sometimes these are real things that happen to people and yeah. it can really strain the marriage 
Yes, um, it's it's uh, practical, and I sympathise with um, those who are going through it yeah. through the experience, you know. Yeah. Because um, it's something desirable. Yes. You know, to have uh, children around, uh, especially as the Bible says that uh, it's a reward. You know, fruitfulness and multiplication came as uh, part of the blessing of yeah. Genesis one. Yes. So yes. Uh, one would feel uh, fruitless and uh, stagnated, you know, yeah. you have to marriage, nothing happens. Yes. Because uh, the actual place to procreate is in marriage. In marriage, yeah, yes. not outside it. So Ideally. we sympathize with such folks. Mm. Uh, again, um, one needs to look at the causes, what is responsible. Okay. Yeah. Many people uh, get into marriage uninformed. Okay. Yeah, so trainings have to be broad-based, including uh, uh, conjugal uh, 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 information, you know, okay. uh, how should it be done, when should it be done, because you may discover also that some people don't know their timings in life, and so it lingers until they are taught. Okay. Others could be uh, medical, physiological, you know, maybe infection and all of that. So it is important, first of all, to check what is medical science saying mm -hmm. about that condition okay. before we think it is demonic. Okay. And then uh, the spouses need to be patient, each with the other. You know, sometimes society throws bombs at the, at yeah. the female gender. True. So every childlessness is a result of yeah. uh, infertility, or oh, sorry, infertility, yes, yes. of the uh, woman, you yeah. know. Probably but barrenness and all that. Most cases, it's men not. are responsible. True. Yes, it's, 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 it's a challenge with a man. So first, that marriage need not be threatened by absence of children. True. Rather, it should draw both close together, you know, closer, and then they seek solution you know, to that problem, mm. but patiently so. Uh, Jacob would tell um, um, uh, Rachel, I don't give children. It is God that gives children. And that's the truth. That's Not the everybody truth. believes it, but that's the truth. Yes. God gives children. And so uh, in time past, many of us did not believe, you know, that we could uh, seek medical assistance, you know, um, um, uh, like uh, uh, yeah, artificial inseminations and all of that. Yeah. You know, but as it stands, you know, that's an option. It is an option and one doesn't need to wait for too long. And it doesn't mean you're out of faith. Never, never, never. It doesn't mean that you're out of faith. You know, God cannot be boxed. God cannot be boxed. You know, it crossed my heart, you know, just uh, like two days ago, how the genealogy of Jesus Christ is replete with liars. Mm, tell me about that. Okay. <laughs> oh. We know one harlot in Joshua, book mm -hmm. of Joshua, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, Rahab, her name. Mm -hmm. She's in Christ genealogy. Yes. Fine. She wasn't <laughs> just a harlot, but a liar. Yeah. Because she hid the spies. <laughs> and when, <laughs> yeah. And when the king or whoever came, she mm -hmm. said, oh, uh, sundown, they just jumped the fence. I don't know where they went. <laughs> she hid them. Yes. Abraham had lied. Isaac lied. Jacob lied. <laughs> David wasn't just a liar, was a murderer, <laughs> an adulterer, liar. You know, so... <laughs> God is not as straight jacketed as we think. What we think is iniquity, God may not even consider it as unrighteousness. Yeah, that's it. So, knowledge shall increase is in the book. Mm. And if knowledge has increased to the point of assisting in birth, there's nothing wrong in taking that position, that stance, you know, yeah. taking advantage of its existence. Yes, yeah. so couples don't need to wallow in the ground. The, the, the challenge may be that, the, you know, it's expensive. Yeah. yeah, but if it's possible for medical practitioners to assist us, you know, and bring the cost down so it can be affordable. Exactly. Sense, yeah. And then if uh, maybe like NGOs can get involved and assist people, that's okay. Beautiful. Yeah, but the important thing is to suffer long one with another. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter what the challenge, yeah. Mm -hmm. And to be patient with God. Mm -hmm. It took Abraham 25 years to obtain the promise. Yeah, folks in the Bible had gone past each of the living. Elizabeth, one of them, Samson's mama was the other, Samuel's mama, they had gone past each of the living. Yeah. And the heavens still showed up. Yeah, yeah that, that's it. So patience is required. Mm. Yeah. Families should assist and not look for a second wife for the man. Mm -hmm. Suppose it's the man's fault. Exactly. The problem would continue. Exactly. Yes, excuse me. So families should assist couples to go through this process mm -hmm. until things happen. Yeah. Church should get involved in counseling, find out what a problem is, you know, I mean, yeah, in case there's assistance to offer. Okay. The challenges may not be so enormous, you know, and um, unassailable, yeah, 
it could just be an infection. Yeah. It could just be an infection. Yeah. And the doctor may find out. Yeah. True. Fine. But where demons are involved, we still have power to cast out demons. Exactly. So either way, we're winners. We're oh, winners, yeah. yeah. So, but the couple should come close together, pray about the matter, seek advice, seek counsel, both medical and spiritual. So it should be yeah. something that brings them really close. Close, yes. Yeah. Because Amazing. they are in you know, need together. Nobody else knows what they suffer. Yeah. yeah. Folks can just talk on the outside. Mm -hmm. But when they get back home, they're the ones who feel the pain. Yeah. True, so true. we should rather bring them together. Yeah. yeah. As we as we're wrapping up, I like to say something. I want us to say something to the singles out yeah. there so i'd like to ask you tell us from your experience yes. what do you think singles should really look out for yes. in each other yes. before they say this is the person i want to get married to okay. being experienced in marriage yeah. you know you, nah, i want you to just advise us as singles what yes. do you think is it this girl is good i like her just the way she looks and all that oh i want to marry her yeah. What do you think? What should be the most responsible way yeah. to go about it? Yeah. But very much, yeah. Um, everybody may be marryable, okay. but everybody cannot marry everybody. That's it. Yeah. So first, you know, f f first of all, is physical, spiritual, then spiritual. All right. So that whoever you want to marry, yeah, should be someone that meets all of this and not because it's glittering a lot of damage has been done through social media we just see things especially in this uh, era that uh, all that we do is to shake things that we have mm. yes and it's becoming very obscene yeah. so we see things and when we think that's uh, the kind of girl that i want yeah. but anybody you think should be your wife there's nothing or your spouse there's nothing wrong in investigating yeah who is this person, person especially when the person is on guards mm. because everybody is edgy you know exactly. we want to impress yeah so um we put up airs put up front uh -huh. pretend a lot you know especially in the courtship mm. but if we dig deeper we may find out who knows this person who mm. knows that person mm -hmm. what church does he or she attend you know what the character like what family background and all that. there's nothing wrong in investigating mm. through scripture there were investigations mm. yeah so but most importantly should be someone that you can live with especially in the fear of god mm. because bottom line is god yeah so anyone that doesn't have the fear of god in him or her can do all sorts you know people come to you for counseling for yes. instance you have people who want to get married yes. and they come to you yes. what's like the kind of advice you can give them now yes. we've moved from singles yes. to people Through who now one. yeah yes. who have agreed they want to get married yes. what's the kind of questions you know that is ideal to ask them um well do i ask questions I, I i actually hear them out first okay you know yeah i i, I hear them out because um they are told all sorts you know uh, uh be careful about the woman be careful about the man don't take rubbish from the man don't take nonsense and usually i will tell you if you're not set for nonsense there's no point entering marriage because each partner comes with a lot of rubbish yes and this is actually the thing that comes to shape you I like yes so we need to tell you the real terrible thing that can happen. Questions like, what is that thing that can happen when you leave the marriage? Mm. And when when you think about it, you know, and even voice it, I will let you know that it's not even bad enough. Because scripture makes room for forgiveness. Absolutely. Yeah, so there's no unrighteousness that's unforgivable. Mm. Even the adultery that you think that scripture says, uh, if you're caught in adultery, drive the wife away. Yeah. Bible didn't say that. The next verse says you should forgive 90, is it 70 times, seven times, yes. one day, seven yes. equity. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, I believe it extends to spouses. Mm. Um, another question is for how long would you respect this fellow, maybe in an event, jobless? Mm. Because every, we, we, we think that the man should make the supply to the family, mm. but in an event, he's not able to do that. Can you sustain mm. the respect for the man? Mm. Yes. Such nice things. question. Absolutely. Yeah. Such questions. Yes. Um, intrusion by in laws, you know, and uh, family people. How would you treat your spouse's mother and relations, you know? Uh, because sometimes there's that dichotomy, you know, you're torn between your people and her people. Mm -hmm. Recently, marriage brings people to get people together. together people, yeah. yeah, I was correct too. People's together, yeah. So, how about in, in the case of the lady is older? Um, Maybe that, 10 years older. Even if it's 30 years older. 
I know where I'm going there. Yeah, because age is not a factor in marriage. Right. People think it is, it is not. It's I've not. never considered that a factor, you know. The important thing is that these two heart beat as one. Mm. And you and you know that that spouse is actually you. That person should be your spouse. The moment you know, that's actually the matter. Before age becomes... Age is not even a factor for goodness sake. Exactly. Yeah, because we think, oh, uh, if she's like forty now, uh, a little bit of time, she'll 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 go into menopause. For real, <laughs> a little bit of time. What of Sarah that had a baby at ninety? <laughs> Sarah was post 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 post, 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 post. One of Elizabeth. Menopause. Scripture record that she was well stricken <laughs> in years. <laughs> post 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 yeah, menopause. So, so all that fear doesn't matter because we've heard stories of people that didn't even have wounds. And the heavens recreated wombs for them and they have given them. I've one life. Absolutely correct. Yeah. yeah. So age is not a factor, especially if the people involved don't, don't, don't mind. I've seen people that are 14 years apart, 20 years apart, and they don't mind one bit. They don't mind. Yeah. As long as their heart beats. Right. Because at the end of the whole day, marriage is honorable. Don't forget. Yes. And what happens behind closed doors, you know, is strictly two of you. Yes. All, all the world can do is talk. And you get back home and hold yourself and say, nah, let's advance this life. We'll leave those people. <laughs> All you can do is shout. <laughs> That's correct. While we're having a great time here. Yeah. That's yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Amazing one. What would you say, you know, as a final word for singles? Yes. People who are in courtship. Yes. And then for the marriage. Yes. Singles, don't be in a hurry to get married. I like that. Look, take one stage of your life at a time. Mm. I've seen folks who are in secondary school, they think they should get married. The yeah, university, they say what they want to get married. NYC, they think they want to get married. Well, if that's what God planned for you, that's okay. But that's not the focus, you know. Take your life in stages. God understands what you, you know, yeah, the timings of your life. That's it. Don't be in a tremendous hurry. Mm. Because, yeah, you can hurry in and the next thing you're hurrying out. Having not been trained like you should be. Exactly. Yeah. In this era of marriage trainings, I encourage singles and intending couples or those who are in courtship yeah. to submit themselves to these trainings. Mm. Some of us didn't have the privilege of such trainings yeah, here. Yeah. God just helped us. But now with the uh, uh, benefit of hindsight and a lot of information, yes. yeah, we should guide, you know, uh, Be guide, properly informed. Pro yeah. In inform them properly. Yeah. So mm. listen to instructions. Yes. Make findings about you. Pray a lot because at the end of the day, it is God. Mm. If you're in, if you're in, you're <laughs> in. don't think of getting out. Out. So, so that is getting why. out should not be somewhere in your mind no, as no, no, you're no, getting no, no. in. No, no, never, never, <laughs> no. Because I'm told that there are some cultures that you, you know, you keep things somewhere, and then in, in case you return, return from where you've already be, become one flesh with this individual. Exactly. So where are you going? Exactly. Yeah. So that is why we are. It's for this training sake, you know, and uh, this information to disseminate that we are organizing this program mm. that, we're, that we're talking about. Talking about. Yeah. Amazing. So we're getting to that program. Yes. Now, this program is um, going to be hosted by mm. Nigeria Christian Graduate Fellowship. Yeah. If you are a fan of NCCF, I'm sure you have a bit of knowledge about NCGF. Yeah. Now, this is NCGF, Nigeria Christian Graduate Fellowship, and the address is um, at um, 51. Yeah, 51 Enika Link Road. 51 Enika Link Road, Port Harcourt. The, the, the theme for this program is Marriage Matters. Marriage Matters is a two-day marriage seminar. And of course, we're having guests. We have Reverend Godwin uh, Dimpa. Yeah. And we also have Pastor Favor Wisdom Osiri. Sure. You don't want to miss this program. Yeah. Are you single? Are you in courtship? Are you married? This program is for you. Please get informed, be informed, get trained and have a large heart, you know, to receive the information that will be coming. It's been amazing on this show with um, Bishop Gospel out, but <laughs> it's been nice really yeah. having this conversation with you. Um, yeah. Do you have um, something else you want to add? Well, it's basically about the program, you know, that the resource persons are quite good. You know, uh, Pastor Favor is a regular on, on Marriage Matters on Radio. Exactly. Yeah, uh, That's the wife of um, Pastor Wisdom of Syria. Syria, yeah. yeah. Uh, same with uh, Pastor Dimpa. He's uh, an Assemblies of God man and he's well versed in marriage. Yes. So, there's a two-day program, day one. And then, uh, day, day one is a Saturday, day two is a Sunday. Yeah. Both 
was 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 the days will be very very rewarding. So the days so are twentieth, twentieth of July and twenty first of, of July. Yes, it's a Saturday and a Sunday. So please make time to be there. You'll be glad you did. Yes, you'll be, you'll be glad you did. Exactly. Time is three p.m. Three p.m. on, on Saturday. Saturday. Saturday is three p.m. Sunday, Sunday is, is four, 4 p.m. Yeah, 20th and 21st of July. Don't miss it. Nigeria Christian Graduates Fellowship, Port Harcourt Chapter, is a two-day marriage seminar. The theme is Marriage Matters. We have guest speakers, Reverend Godwin Dingba and Pastor Favor Wisdom Osiri. And if you want to call, maybe a number to call, 0806 66 0806 Double six seven nine four one six. It's been nice having you on this show, and um, thank you for all the information you've given to us. Thank you so much. I hope it made sense. <laughs> it made a lot thank of sense. You so much. Well, nice. in case you see him anywhere, please give him a big hug. Um, he's my dad. He's been my dad for over 20, 22 years. Yeah. So, and it's me, Hope Swithin, and this is Grace Impact Radio. Well, it's been nice, and thank you so much, and thank you for listening. God bless you. Bye for now.